The man accused of killing a Somerset County Sheriff's deputy is back in court as his lawyer tries to get his confession thrown out. Good evening, I'm Pat Callahan. And I'm Amanda Hill in for Cindy Williams tonight. Officers who arrested John Williams last April were in court today talking about how it all went down. New Senator Chris Costa is here now to tell us about today's testimony. Chris. Pat, Pat and Amanda, for the first time since the day they captured him, the men who arrested John Williams are coming face to face with him. We heard from three members of the team that arrested Williams, an FBI agent, a Maine game warden, and a Maine state police officer who described the details that led to this controversial photo. I started challenging to saying get down on the ground. That's what trooper Glenn Lang shouted at John Williams when he saw him outside this small cabin off an ATV trail in Norwich a nearly four day manhunt coming to an end. It was obvious we we had you know the suspect uh, involved in this murder so we were going to secure him put handcuffs on him uh, and take him out to the command post so. When Trooper Lang tried to handcuff Williams, he says Williams resisted, not offering his right hand. Uh, and I struck him two or three times and it would be the left side of his head to get him to comply. But that's where another account comes in. Game Warden Jeremy Judd. Trying to get him arrested, trying to get him in handcuffs. I believe there was some resistance because I heard, you know, give me your effing arm. It's the first time these photos are in public view, the moments after officers got Williams on the ground that led to this controversial photo. Again, not compliant, tucked his chin down more in towards the ground. So I simply grabbed his hair, pulled it back, and they snapped the photo. Only the officers and Williams know the details of what happened between these snapshots. And did you see anyone else kick or strike the defendant at the cabin site, sir? Whether you saw anyone punch or strike or, or kick Mr. Williams at any time, is that right? Yeah, I never saw anybody strike or punch or kick him. Okay. Williams confessed to the alleged murder a few hours later while being interrogated by different detectives at the Waterville Police Department. His lawyer questioned experts today, too, arguing that police should have waited until Williams was no longer withdrawing from opiate and stimulant use before interrogating him. Pat and Amanda testimony continues tomorrow with the officer from the Maine State Police who put Corporal Cole's handcuffs on Williams. And there's a question about what, if anything, he may have said to Williams in that moment. Okay, thanks, Chris.